We have the privilege today of having Mr. Shigeyoshi Shimutsuji, Corporate Vice President of Toshiba Corporation, to share with us on how Toshiba uses human smart community to address challenges in the global environment like increasing population, resource and energy shortage, as well as natural disaster. Let's welcome Mr. Shigeyoshi on stage. Uh, thank you for the introductions. And uh, it's very uh, pleased to have the opportunity to present the Toshiba's IOE and IoT activities. Uh, the, our, the, one of the key message is, uh, I think this is not the first one. The, one of the key word is uh, life knowledge. It's not, it's not a regular word, it's a combination of the life and technologies. The meaning is very related, uh, close to the uh, IOE, because the, uh, the technologies, IoT and IOE technologies, should be used to create the new value for a better life. And I would like to introduce the Toshiba's activities on the life technology. Uh, first, looking at in the future, particularly in 2020. 2020 is the most the uh, important year for Japan, because uh, it's a year of the Tokyo Olympic. So not only the Toshiba, but also the government are very keen to introduce uh, new technologies to uh, uh, welcome the foreigners and uh, to show the, to, uh, the games and so on. And uh, in 2020s, uh, Tokyo Olympic, we have a lot of the uh, discussions how the IOE and IoT technologies contribute to the Olympic year. I would like to show the, one of the, our the, uh, the video to uh, the value of the IOE. So this is not the science fiction movie, but uh, this is uh, some actual, the, uh, some of the technologies are already implemented. But uh, this is consists of the, uh, this kind of the hospitality to the, uh, the travelers from outside of Japan 
is uh, by the, some adaptive guide or the multi-language speech translations and the smart signage, virtual fitting, and the augmented reality. This kind of technologies are being developed. And the one of the couple of the examples we already implemented. One of them is a virtual fittings. And the, we implement the, this virtual fitting systems to install in uh, some, uh, one big shopping mall and the, uh, ask the, some, uh, the families and the members to the enjoy the fittings virtually. And uh, this is done by the, some image camera capturing and the body sensing and the, some uh, augmented reality type of the image creations. And another example is a digital signage. In 2020, particularly the NHK, that the Japanese broadcasting program, is keen to introduce 8K super high definition video systems. But uh, uh, this 8K is used mainly for the public viewing of the uh, Olympic game, but uh, that kind of a panel can be used for various type of the usage, such as the signage. So the, in Japan, the usage of the signage is one of the topic, hot topic in the industry. And uh, we implemented not only the regular signage, but to capture, to measure the interest of the audience. So we put the camera and the uh, capture the uh, seeing, uh, capture the uh, areas in front of the signage panel and how the audience uh, is interested in or not. So this kind of the, some uh, data can be used to play the more appropriate some sort of advertisement at the signage. And uh, these systems is installed in the Staples Center in the United States and uh, we already tested, demonstrated. So looking at this kind of the world, 2020s, it is said that 50 billion devices are connected to the network. And the, regarding the amount of data, uh, in 2020, 44 zettabyte uh, in the network. But uh, one of the challenge is uh, storage capacity. Because of the limit of the uh, storage mass productions, the capacity in 2020 is only the seven zettabyte. So most of the data are created, generated, but uh, thrown away. It is not stored. But uh, this is this kind of the, uh, how to take care of the big data is uh, one of the key issue on the implementations of the, this kind of the uh, applications. So this shows a very generic, the diagrams, how the system look like. But an important key point is the edge side computing. Because uh, all the data cannot be transmitted to the network because of the network bandwidth, because of the cost constraints. And uh, particularly on the image side, we cannot transmit the uh, raw image data to the network because of the privacy. So then the uh, signage applications as well as uh, virtual fitting applications. That is the processing is done at the locally, and the only the necessary data, essential data is transmitted to the network. So this is uh, some sort of the general the ideas of the IOE and the IoT by Toshiba. But uh, looking at the more the current, we, I would like to introduce the, our the examples more in the industry side. So we see that the transitions, transformations from the M2M, IoT, and IOE. In the M2M world, the most of the objective is a cost down. So one of the example is the, uh, the elevators remote maintenance. We implement M2M systems more than 10 years ago to reduce the cost of the maintenance. And uh, recently, we introduced the predictive maintenance systems using the, some big data or the predict the failure of some parts of the elevators. And the other example is the uh, medical machines. 
so then the, because the, uh, of course, similar to the uh, elevator case, the cost reduction of the maintenance is important. But for the user of the device, equipment, the, their cons, uh, the concern is a downtime. How to reduce the downtime is one of the key metric. So we implement uh, some sort of the product maintenance uh, the techniques to reduce the downtime. The, our goal is a zero downtime because the, this is a very uh, high expense machines. By the way, this is my brain picture. <laughs> Bio of a Toshiba's machine. And the second stage is the IoT world. Everything connected to the network. And the, because of the, uh, the cheap, the sensors, uh, the cost of the uh, sensor is reduced. So we can implement the lot of sensors in a various type. This is a case for our semiconductor plant, factory. So the, this is fully automated factory for the NAND flash memory as well as the hard disk drive. And the IoT technologies are used for the fully automations and reduce the, uh, the uh, product quality, uh, increase the product quality. So in that case, the almost the 1.6 billion data are uh, captured and transmit to the uh, the uh, the uh, local cloud, on-premise cloud, to measure the machine status as well as the uh, status of the uh, product, of the, such as the hard disk drive or the silicons, and uh, this is fully automated systems helps to reduce the cost of the productions. This is a mass production case. We are trying to apply this kind of technology to small number of the cases. Because that has a completely different the, uh, issues, but uh, most of the technology can be applied from this kind of the, uh, the uh, experience. And the third stage, is a more IOE world. Not only the things, but the everything is uh, measured, uh, sensed and the uh, captured and the data is transmitted. That case, the one of the case by Toshiba is a smart buildings. Last uh, one and a half year ago, we opened a new office buildings at Kawasaki, which is the next city to the Tokyo Metropolitan, and. Uh, we implement the, our the IOE, or life knowledge technologies, to make this building's operation smart. I would like to introduce my video of the technology. Toshiba Smart Community Solutions. The building's air conditioning system delivers maximum comfort and high energy savings. LED lighting is used throughout the building. Image sensors detect movement and use the data to automatically switch the lights on and off as needed. As well as monitoring elevator congestion, image sensors also detect crowd density at elevator entrances and regulate movement to reduce waiting times. The office environment simultaneously delivers convenience and so then the, this also used a video or the uh, camera uh, images. And the, as I told that, the, we can transmit the raw image to the network. So the mo uh, every uh, processing is done at local, such as the lighting case, how many persons in a room or the, how many, uh, the, where the persons are moving. That kind of data is locally and they turn and turn, uh, the control the light, turn and turn off. 
And uh, in addition to that, the elevator case, the how many persons are waiting, at the, which for then that kind of data is captured by camera, and uh, that kind of data, trans, uh, processed data, is used to control the, uh, the elevators. That kind of systems is already implemented in our buildings, office buildings, but uh, this is uh, some sort of the local side. Uh, of course, there are a lot of merit, as the video shown that. Some sort of the cost reductions are done, as well as some, uh, the, F uh, the increase, improve the, uh, the life in the office space. But uh, this is not only the, this kind of technology uh, is not only used in the single buildings, but some sort of the group buildings, because in order to get the more efficient the values. One of the case is that energy systems. Energy, of course, uh, the redu reductions of the unnecessary consumption of the energy is very important for reduce the, uh, the cost as well as some sort of the, uh, the friendly uh, natures or environment. But to combine this kind of the several uh, the buildings, uh, the control, is we can get the more the uh, benefit. So then we implement uh, some cloud systems only uh, for the, elec uh, the building energy management systems. Not only Toshiba buildings, but the, some Kawasaki city hall or other adjacent buildings data are gathered to control the energy consumptions. And uh, another case, more bigger areas, uh, the one of the, our the challenge is the how to reduce the uh, damage of the disasters. Particularly, of course, disasters in, uh, has a lot of the, uh, the cases. One of them is a big earthquake. The earthquake, the prediction is researched for long years, but still in the Matua case. But the more the recent, the high priority disaster prevention is a flood by heavy shower. Uh, not only in the South Asia regions, but also the Japan has recently, we have uh, suffered from the heavy showers that cause uh, land trip and uh, flood and so on. So the how to prevent this kind of disaster is one of the applications of the life technology, IOE. And the, one of the key sensor is uh, weather radar. Radar uh, detects the how the rain will then, uh, how it will rain in which area. That kind of the information is captured by radars. We have the special radar technologies, which is a phased array radar. This shows the, video shows the merit. Parabola of the antenna technology. weather radar systems require five to 10 minutes to complete 3D volume scanning. In some cases, five to ten minutes is too long to detect cumulonimbus clouds. In contrast, the phased array antenna deploys electron scanning in the elevation angle in the form of a plate so that one revolution is sufficient to complete 3D volume scanning. Cumulonimbus clouds can be detected in just 10 to 30 seconds. So the, this kind of state of technologies can be used to forecast the, uh, the weather or the rain part. But the, this, uh, answer to that, this shows the, uh, this, uh, the result of the phase array radar. This is a two-dimensional uh, rain status. This is a three-dimensional uh, status of the rain or the cloud, rain cloud. And that kind of, this kind of data is used to predict the, uh, how the rain will be. That, that is one of the, uh, state up technologies to uh, key technologies for the flood solutions. So then the radar information as well as other information should be combined, syn uh, synthesized to predict the flood. And the, we implement our proposal to the uh, local government as well as uh, we implemented is this kind of three layers. Top layer is uh, meteorological layers including the uh, weather radar's information. Second one is the uh, hydraulic layers, which has uh, different sensors. How 
the one the condition is. And the third one is action layers. Because without actions, we cannot prevent the disasters. In the uh, methodological layers, phase layers as well as the regular weather layers, that kind of data are combined. How the weather condition is, and the uh, hydrological layers, flow meters as well as a CCD camera or water gauge are used. That kind of data is, is uh, gathered to the uh, rainfall, uh, rain of analysis systems. And this kind of data is used to uh, control the salvage management systems or the uh, flood monitoring and the landslide monitoring. That kind of action layers are uh, implemented by using the sensor data. So this is the one of the uh, big uh, case of the uh, big implementations of the life knowledges. As the conclusions of my uh, presentations, I'll like show you the more general the uh, introductions of the life knowledge Toshiba statement. Since our early beginnings in consumer electronics, Toshiba's focus has expanded to embrace infrastructure, energy, healthcare, and all things digital. We've changed people's lives, and we've lit up the world. Now we're taking another step forward. This is not about technology. It's about life knowledge. We are shifting our focus from technology to lifestyles and from products to people. Integrating technologies, we're working to create new value to help people enjoy a better life. This is what we call life knowledge. We're building energy efficiency worldwide, developing flexible, ever smarter storage solutions, creating healthcare solutions that help us all enjoy life more. It's more than technology, more than business. Life knowledge means working to resolve the issues facing societies, to ensure safety, security, and quality of life for everyone, to realize a truly human smart community. Thank you for your attentions.